Hello, this is my step-by-step -step on how to do the Rhino Hunt for our class CIS 27A Computer Forensics Fundamentals is using autopsy. In autopsy, we create a new case. We call it Rhino Hunt. We add a case number. We put in the examiner's name, my name, phone number, email, notes. Just going to leave those blanks as this is just a walkthrough. Once we have the walkthrough, we're going to select the disk image. and mount. Once we get once we mount the disk image, we check all these files to see what's available. As you can tell, there's nothing available there. You get the gumbo text messages as forensics would help us. What I love about autopsy, it's freeware, or it's where you can use it. As you can, as you see, there's, it's not in files, so we look at the deleted files. As you can tell, th there's nothing in deleted files, but it's because it's analyzing the disk. We're at 91%. I'm going to pause the great it finished analyzing so once it finished analyzing you we can tell that there are 132 deleted files out of those deleted files we get we see everything that's available we got a JPEG of alligators Oh, and there we go, our first rhino picture, our second, our third, our fourth, and then we get a dock. So that's very interesting. As we go, we look through one by one, you see there's different text documents as well. But what we're, we're looking for are rhino pictures or gifts and as you can tell we found four the challenge is we have to find nine or more so now that we found nine we export Now that we created the file through autopsy, we look for the place that the project was was saved in. And we find the export folder. Now that we have all now that the program have finished analyzing we go to the deleted files and we extract all these files into the folder we created in this case export folder so once we export it's going to save it's extracting to export 
it will be saved in the folder that was created on this export file and now that we have access to these images We save them in a different file. Now our next step is to look at the logs that was provided. In order to look for at the logs, I use a virtual box. A virtual machine that is Kali Linux because it helps me with Wireshark In Wireshark, we open Wireshark and we look at the first Rhino log. What we're trying to look for are data dumps. So we have the FTP data dumps. So we know the password is user gnome and the password is gnome. And it asks for a request to store Rhino one picture. So we know who it is that it was completed and that it's been transferred. So it asks, it, it logs in again, and it asks to store another Pirino picture. And we notice it was completed. So then it logs for a third time, and it, asks, and it requests to store a, a contraband zip which we don't know what's in it so we have to ex extract those three files now the data transfer is here as you can see this is where it's st it's storing right now wait peg one so we right click and we follow st TCP stream and we notice that it's all gibberish we show the data as a raw file and as you can see the raw file it's as well as gibberish you save as and we name it as how it was stored once you save it as random1.jpg we look at our documents folder and voila you extracted your fir your first picture jpeg picture out of rhino log for your second picture we go back to wireshark 
and we look for the next FTP data transfer. Flow one. Up oh, here it is, right node three. Again, we right click, follow TCP stream. We show the data as raw data, then we save that raw data as Rhino 3.jpg. We make sure that we, yep, and it extracted another picture. We go back to the data and we look for the contraband that we saw that was stored. Here it is. Do the same thing. We follow TCP stream. We go as data. Save as contraband.zip. We close. And voila, we have Rhino 2, but it's asking for a password to open the file. That's going to be a bit tricky. We extracted three files, and one of the files is password protected. We will take, we will use the tool f crack zip to pat to crack the password okay So we're going to use the dictionary. We're going to do boot force. Verbose, we're going to unzip. We're not, we're going to the rock you wordless did it the wrong way
So we're going to use the fcrack zip with the terminal command to crack the password and view we're going to use the verbose the dictionary to unzip we're going to unzip it and we're going to use string string as initial password so we're going to use the rocky word list and we're going to break and voila the password is monkey Ah, this picture looks familiar. So, so far, we have located four. We have located three more rhino pictures so we have a total of seven rhino pictures so we're looking for two more now we are going to go back to our logs and we're going to open log 2 rhino log 2 we're going to look at the HTTPs and we get a get image logo we're not looking for the logo been moved. We have a GIF, but it's a blank GIF. We're not looking for that. Oh, this one looks interesting. Rhino 4. Okay, so it's Rhino 4. It's a GET. It's a JPEG. Okay, so that one's interesting. We, we, we have to get that HTTP. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, just missed it right there. Rhino. So uh, they're all get and HTTPs, and, and it looks like they all were okay and they, they were transferred or they were looked at. In order for us to do that, we go to File, we export objects. It seems it's an HTTP protocol. We have the files are right here. So we save. Our very first one, Rhino. F we save it, okay, and then we save our GIF. We close it. We look at the folder, we save them. Oh, it looks like it only saved one. Let's see why. It did not save the second one. So we know that there's Oh, this sorry, my bad. I put in the wrong one. So let's cancel this, close it. And let's move. Perfect. Now we have five more pictures besides.
as you can tell this is similar to Rhino 2 and that's so that finishes our project that finishes our rhino hunt. We still have to answer the questions that the project asks. So the project who gave AccU's 8 Telnet FTP account? That's a good question. Who gave her the, who gave her the account or gave him we don't know the gender of the person whose account it is but if we look at the at the text we might find clues as to what Charlie that sounds like an interesting name Okay, look back in March, my mother and I have her chasing Jamie. Okay, truly amazed. Might last Miller H two. Okay, not. He says oh. so. So it all looks like it's diaries. Oh, there we go, Rhino. Rhino pictures illegal. Makes me sit. I hit the photos. Ha ha. He 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 he. Apparently there are less than ten photos. It's no big deal. Okay. Okay. Things are getting a little weird. I zapped the hard drive and then threw it in the Mississippi River. Okay. Makes sense. That's why we had to recover the logs. I'm going to reformat a USB, which we use autopsy, to find those deleted files. files. They didn't destroy the good stuff. Yeah, uh, the good stuff. Yeah, so you can see we saw four, four pictures in that USB drive. Okay, so we know the pass. Change the password. The password, the account number was gnome, and the password was gnome one two three. Jeremy gave me. Oh, okay. So there you go. Who gave the accused Telnet FTP account? Jeremy. What is the username and password? It was GNOME and the password is GNOME123. What rele relevant file transfers appear in the network traces? Actually, let's, let's write it down. Jeremy. So, user GNOME password gnome gnome one two three what relevant files appears in network what relevant okay so uh, obviously rhino one two three four five Is there any evidence? That yes, the, the evidence that connects the USB drives and the network traces are Rhino 2. As you can remember, this picture is in both drives. As you say, Rhino 2. Examine. Okay, what happened to the hard drive? Uh, the person zapped the hard drive and threw it in the Mississippi River. What happened to the USB? It was it was formatted.
So we recovered over 130 deleted hard drives and two gumbo recipes. Great. That pretty much finishes the questions. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Thanks for watching.